This is Neil Portis from Tailored Partners. I work as a freelance CFO for growth companies. As governments make plans to reopen businesses following COVID-19 closures, capacity levels of many brick and mortar businesses may be limited by law or by new consumer habits or both. Hotels, restaurants, coffee shops, retail stores, and music venues may operate at limited capacity to allow for social distancing. So I wanna show an analysis that can help brick and mortar business owners understand the percent capacity at which they can operate profitably. It's a unit contribution margin analysis. Let's go ahead and dive in. Points to start. First, this is a unit economics analysis because we want to know the number of units, or in this case, the number of customers that we need to be profitable. Second, we'll need to separate our variable costs from our fixed costs. Variable costs are those driven by volume, while fixed costs will be incurred no matter how many people are in our store. Rent is a good example of a fixed cost. This is why I want to show a unit contribution margin analysis. So contribution margin is simply revenues generated from a sale or order minus the variable costs of fulfilling that order, materials, wages, etc. Here's a simple made up calculation shown on a per unit or per customer basis. This business makes $11 in revenue per customer on average with $5 of variable costs, leaving a $6 unit contribution margin. Now let's put this into an analysis for a business owner to use. Pick the time period that you're considering reopening, let's say June. Now I think you want to have an understanding of the number of customers that you served when operating at full capacity. Perhaps we had a thousand customers in June last year, but this June we may only operate at 35% capacity. That means we're only expecting 350 customers. If we use the $6 unit contribution margin that we calculated before times 350 expected customers, our gross contribution margin is going to be $2,100. Next, we need to subtract our fixed cost, which we estimate a total $3,000. So here we see that at 35% capacity, we'll operate at a loss of $900. But if we, if we move the percent occupancy up to 50%, we see that that means we are now expecting 500 customers and our gross contribution margin increases to $3,000, which equals our fixed cost and means that we'll break even. And once we move the occupancy above 50%, we see that we start to turn a profit. So at 50% capacity, we break even, and above that, we start to turn a profit. Now, one final thing, even if you don't have exact numbers on a per unit basis, I think that even a rough picture will still be a helpful guide. Even with perfect numbers, an analysis like this won't be the only reason to reopen at a certain time. Just one of the many factors supporting a decision on when to reopen.